Hey guys, it's JC's Reborn Journey here. I'm just here really quickly to, uh, whatever, really. No. I'm just going to have a real quick talk with you, let you know what the plan is for this week, hopefully. Um, I did spend some time today doing some Reborn videos. I think I did last night as well. I don't remember now. Everything's such a haze and fog, and I never know what I do one minute from the next, but that's okay. We just take one second at a time, right? So, right now I'm just sewing this up and doing that. So that is a done set so I can make the other pieces to it. Um, I know I probably don't have everything that I need for each set. So this way, once each set is completed, then I can write down kind of like what I need for each set so I know what to go and get. I can't get anything until I have money, but that's beside the point. Anyways... Um, it helps to know what I need. Anyways, so I'm just going to continue making products because that's what I want to do tonight. And I know that I'm probably going to have a really busy week, so I don't know what I'm going to be able to do. Um, I'm hoping that, um, I can continue to make products. I'm going to leave this table out and that way it will encourage me to just keep working. Um, it's really hard for me to sit and after I did, I know in one of my Reborn videos uh, with the baby drinking and I said I was going to ice my back. Uh, I think I did after that video. So it's a lot harder than you think for me to actually lift my babies. It's hard for me to even sit here. Uh, I really don't know what's going on. But I have rheumatology Monday. I have PT Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I have my back doctor on Wednesday and I'm just gonna say everything hurts because everything hurts um, I'm feeling pain in my spine I'm feeling pain down my spine I need an MRI please 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 let's redo the MRIs let her know a little bit about what just happened in the last year to help convince her that that is what you know I'll be like I don't know what I said to you before but I found out that the naproxen was masking most of my pain and when my primary care wanted me to go off it. That was a bad, a good, but a bad idea at the same time. And my primary care doctor doesn't even read the reports and is just like, MRIs are only for if they need to do, if they're thinking they may need to do surgery. Well, how do you know? Because you haven't even looked. You're, you're, you're away on vacation. How would you even know what the x-ray said? Um, and a report on an x-ray is different than actually seeing the x-ray itself. So, I was like, whatever. I just have to wait until Wednesday. And then I have to go and get... Hopefully I can go and get the MRIs right then and there. Um, even if that meant I had to go to PT and then go back. Because it's not that far away. But it definitely has to happen. And I'm going to beg and beg and beg and beg and beg and beg. And even say, PT can't help me if we can't get the MRIs to know what the heck is going on here. I'm hoping that I need to call the top surgeon and find out what is going on. Um, I know that the 19th ends up being one month, and I need to know what's going on insurance-wise and if it would speed up the process if I got a letter from my back doctor stating that this is also a medical emergency, that I need to actually have top surgery to help me with my back because even the ER doctor said you're probably going to be in pain until you have top surgery so and I'd like to lose some more weight and I can't do that if I'm not exercising so kind of redundant um I think that's it for doctor's appointments I don't know I think I have dermatology can you please not bother me oh my god I hate phones really they do everything you don't want them to do. Anyways, um, let's see. Okay, well, I don't even know what day this is. Okay, week. Okay, so dermatology is Thursday. And um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet because I have like, no money and it hurts to walk. So I think I'm going to pass this month on the transgender or any of these other groups. I did not go to the group yesterday that I said I was going to go to, which was a grieving group. 
And on Wednesday, I don't think I'm going back to that other group. I just can't sit that long. It's And they just... Too much God talk for me. I don't mind God. I don't mind talking to Him privately. But I don't need it to be shoved down my throat either. Um, but that's really all. Um, I'm going to... Um, I don't know what I want to do with my hair. I don't know if I've said that in a video before. But... It drives me crazy because then the lady goes up too high when it started looking nice up there. And then she just... I don't get it. I don't know why people don't listen. So, I don't know what I want to do. Because I can't handle hair like around here and here and touching my ears and then back here. But I don't know what I want to do. So, I think I'll just keep trying and growing it out. And I'm going to tell her this time, don't even bother blending it. Don't do nothing to the top. Like, I need this to be... A lot longer than what it is. And she keeps blending it. And I don't like it. I don't like when you do that. Because even back here. I want this like a lot longer than it is. So. And people keep writing yes. As a comment. I have no idea what you're talking about. So please elaborate. Because I have no idea what yes means. Are you happy that you're seeing babies? I mean, yes doesn't give me any answer or any indication about anything whatsoever. I have no idea what you're talking about, what you want, or anything. So, be a little bit more clear. Because it's just a waste of a comment. Because I have no idea what you're talking about. I don't know what you want. Um, yes, you will see more babies. Um, I don't, you know, every day this week I'm really busy. Um... I will give you guys an update later on in the week. Like, obviously, if something happens tomorrow or whatever, I'm going to do a quick video. But, um, I'll try a little harder to blend everything together instead of doing all one thing. Just keep in mind that, you know, transitioning and, you know, grieving and mental disorders and all that other good stuff is definitely part of my life and I've let you in to that part of my life um the babies won't stop I am a reborn in silicone baby not just a collector but I'm also an artist and I make products for those babies and um wish I could get a product up faster or better in a way that people like or whatever but it is what it is. Um, so I'll be working really hard this week. And I know that uh, the 1st of November, I'm probably not going to have much going on unless I have a few doctor's appointments. So I'm going to focus that week really on my Etsy shop that week. But I'm going to try and make more time to be able to make product and that kind of stuff. And hopefully, but I got to be honest with you guys, I'm not rushing uh, for, I know that Christmas is coming and I'm trying to make some Christmas sets, but I can't really stress it this year just because of everything that I've been through and everything that I'm still going through and have to focus on. So I just don't have the time and energy and all that stuff. And it's hard to sit. I've been trying to sit all day and I think I've had to ice my back about four or five times already. So, it definitely hurts to sit, it hurts to lay back, it hurts to, you know. So, I did something to my bed, made it a little easier to get up. I wasn't as stiff, I was still a little stiff, I wasn't as, like, sore. So, I'm hoping that that will work out until I can get a new bed. Um, so, that's really all I have to tell you guys. So, um, I'm looking forward to this week because I'd like to get to the bottom of my back issues like I know that the pain isn't gonna go away I'm not looking for that it is what it is you know yes it sucks but it is what it is and I'm a fighter and I'm going to keep fighting but I'd like to know what's going on and how can I prevent or what do I need to do in order not to you know make my back worse or my back pain worse so the one major thing that the PT guy told me that worked in my favor was he said, I think it's time to do ice and not heat. And 
Boy, was that a difference. I always thought you had to use heat or ice only 24 hours after an injury. Never thought that it would do what it's doing. So it basically numbs the pain when you're having it. It numbs it and it makes you feel a little better. So you can kind of move and move on with your day. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll ice it on the floor and then I'll, you know, kind of, I don't know what they're called. <laughs> He's always telling me, oh, do these and these and these. And I'm like, what is that? <laughs> and he says the same thing over and over again, but I never seem to pick up on what names are what. Same thing with me and tools. You know, I know what they are if you tell me what color it is. I know what they are if you tell me what they look like. I know what a screwdriver is and I know what a hammer is, but other than that, you know, I know what a drill bit is and I know what a drill is because I have one and I use it. And I recommend anybody, male or female, to get one and use it. But I think drilling is hard on my back. Like, I feel pain in my spine. I've never felt pain in my spine before. So, um, but that's really it. I'm not here to sit here and complain. I was just trying to give you guys an update. I really hope you guys had a great week weekend. Um, hope you guys enjoyed some of the baby videos that I made. I really tried hard. Um... She's actually a little too heavy for me to lift right now, but I miss her. Um, there was something I did say in my video that I that was incorrect or just incorrect information. So I said she's not my favorite, and I want to make it very clear that I don't have favorites. Each baby has a different place in my heart. I feel differently with each one of them. There are some that I don't seem to bond with as well as others, but I don't have an absolute favorite. Dennis had favorites, but I don't. I mean, because I love this little guy, but I love him in his own little way, you know? I love this little one, but I love her in her own little way because she's different and she's special and she's got her own little, you know, her own little things about her that I like. And then, I like this one, poor guy. <laughs> I'll take that off you now. <laughs> poor guy, I don't want to put that on him. So, I like him in his own little cute little way. He's so detailed, I really like him. But, same thing with all the other babies. I wouldn't buy the babies if I didn't like them. And, she definitely did steal my heart. But, I do love all my babies. Um... I can't say equally, but I can say that they each have their own little special spot in my heart. So I wanted to just make that very clear. She is actually one of the top babies that I do like. But she also needs to be rerouted, and I don't know if I can root her the way I'd like to, because I did like that bald patch in the back. It looked really real. But um, we will see, we will see, we will see. But whoever rooted her didn't root her correctly because it just falls right out. And uh, even my babies that I've rooted with in gore hair don't do that. Um, I can say that a friend of mine had told me that reborn uh, silicone babies that have in gore hair, um, it's basically a waste of money. You want the coarser and the harder hair, it will stay longer. But everybody's all into the the better. They want the good quality or the good this or the good that. And it, and it does. It just comes out way too fast. So my babies, I do have some of the coarser, cheaper hair. And I want to try that and see if that works um, a little better. Because I still will be using a 4 to 6 gauge needle. You're just using a little bit thicker of hair. So it will kind of go in there and kind of wedge in there a little better. So we'll try it. I know it may not be as nice, but it's also how you, how you root and if you're rooting straight down, it doesn't look good. If you're doing it on a side and kind of angling the hair in different locations, then it doesn't look so bad. But I know I want to try and root him, but he's such good. He's got such a small head. Look at the, you know, I definitely want to root him though, but I don't, I don't know what to do. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, feel free to comment. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe. I'll see you guys back here the next time. You guys enjoy your week. Be safe.